Okay, there are a few more simple mini combos I like to do with my left hand, whilst my right hand is busy browsing the web. So you can be pretty much sure that one, they are easy to learn even with your non-dominant hand, and two, can be done absolutely subconsciously. And yes, they also turned out to be combinable too. What else do we need these days? Perhaps a good pen mod would also be nice. The one you can now order from another shop. That's right, we decided to merge with a leg. This sounds funny. But I totally trust his pen mod abilities and his pen mod quality. So if you are looking for a good pen mod, follow my link from the description. So the first mini combo we will start with a new back. Perform the trick and let the pen mod go on top of your hand, making one or several rotations. As soon as this side passes pinky, raise the finger. This will cause the mod to naturally fall in slot 3-4. Then fix the mod in the slot with most of its weight laying on top of fingers perpendicular to them. Cover your mod with the index from above and push it to perform shadow still in slot 1-2. The next combo might make you sweat a bit, but fear not, I will do my best to guide you through it. So we start with the Sonic 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, extremely close to Penmo's cap. As you land it between 1 and 2, push it with your index finger to pass it back between middle and ring fingers. And as you can see, I already hold the mod by its grip. Continue the circular motion and cover the mod with your index finger from above. Then you turn hand palm down so you can continue the charge motion. And when the pen mod is perpendicular to fingers, switch the grip from your middle finger to your ring finger and let mod go around between your index and middle fingers. As you curve it underneath your hand, try to keep the pen's movement in a round. You can also practice such a charge for a while, or can just simply make this motion straight like that. It doesn't really matter. Circular motion may come later. But what matters, you need to curve hand like this, letting mod go below thumb. So when you turn hand palm up again, it is already in thumb flap, with most of its weight up, ready for a fingerless thumb round. Land mod in 1-2 closer to its cap, and you can finish it nice and smooth with the neo back. Or you got it, didn't you? From this position you can also make the first mini combo and transform it to a solid, elegant combo. If you haven't watched my previous video tutorial with combos I like to do with my left hand, go ahead. In the description you will also find links to playlists with other intermediate combo tutorials. Until the next time, cheers!